Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while since I haven't uploaded, but if some of you guys didn't know, I was in a car accident and I'm finally gonna tell you guys what happened in this video. But today I'm not gonna be doing my makeup. Today I'm gonna be eating some pizza for you guys. I also have some pasta. Hold up. I actually had the wrong pasta. So this one is my pasta, the chicken alfredo. I like chicken alfredo. Okay, so I have my food, I have my drink, so I suggest you guys get some snacks or something, you know? Okay, so basically, well, I have photos and stuff that I'll attach in my car. So you guys can see the damage, but basically what was 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 i have ranch too mm. domino's is busting <laughs> My boyfriend hates the way I chew. Like, am I making a weird noise or something? I'm a fast eater, so <clears throat> that was not fast forward footage. I dominated that pizza slice in at least a minute or so. Okay, so now that I had a slice of pizza, let's talk about my accident. So, so I was on my way to work. I remember the exact day, the exact time, the exact moment that I woke up. Like, it was um, back in December of last year, 2023, literally to end the year. Like, this had to happen to me, literally. Like, this would happen to me, you know? But anyways, so I was driving to work, and it was Friday, December 22nd, literally about to be Christmas. So please feel my pain. So, like I said, <laughs> like I've been saying for the past three minutes, I was on my way to work. And I usually leave my house like at 7, 10 or so. And like I was on the way to work, whatever. I was kind of close to work already. I was literally like three minutes away from work. And I'm going to try my best to explain it. But I'm not that good at explaining. So let's just imagine two lanes going this way, like towards you. And two lanes coming my way, like this way. Like do 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 And this one is going this way, okay? So, so... <clears throat> there's cars coming this way and there's cars going that way and there's two lanes so I'm in this lane the right lane and there's a left lane that this car is parked at because he wants to do a u-turn but that's illegal in that street in LA so he's just there standing right and I'm driving this way like I'm going my way to work right and tell me why there's someone coming from this way like towards me and they stop right where this car stops. So they're like head in head about to make U-turns, you know, illegally. So they were both going to do U-turns. And basically, the guy that did a U-turn in the opposite lane, he literally busted a U-turn right in front of me, bro. Because I guess that car right here in the middle of us. Uh, I just don't feel good at explaining like please tell me if you understand like coming this way and coming that way and there's literally a guy in the middle and he was blocking my blind side and I believe he was blocking this guy's blind side too so when he did the u-turn he didn't see my car until it was too late so I was like literally driving you know and I'm like not the type of person to be on my phone or anything like I promise you and thank god I had my seatbelt on by the way, wear your seatbelt. Like, I know you see these pictures. Imagine if I wasn't wearing a seatbelt, I probably would have flown out the windshield or something. But basically, like, I couldn't stop in time. So, dun, dun, dun. 
pizza break. Y'all forgot this was a mug bang. Mmm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I don't like to be eating and talking, so you guys just enjoy me eating that. Okay, back to what I was saying. So I literally, like, couldn't stop in time, right? So... Literally, this man was doing a U-turn in front of me to go that way. And I was already going that way. And, like, he did it and it was too late. And I was literally breaking, bro. I was breaking like this. And then I honked. Just so he can see me, you know? So he could realize what the hell he just done. Because he messed up. Doing an illegal U-turn. So, yeah, like I said, I was stepping the brake. But my car couldn't stop in time. And I was just pushing the honk. Is it called the honk? I was beeping though. I was beeping and then I crashed and your airbag just blows up. Like if you're, let's hope not. But if you're in an accident, your freaking airbag just busts open. But I had my hand on the steering wheel. So it busted open in my hand and then my hand went like this. Which is already bad for a human. Because our arms aren't supposed to go backwards. So... Literally, as soon as that airbag hit my hand, I literally felt it. I was like, oh my god. I'm literally feeling like I'm in that moment again. But it was pretty traumatizing because, you know, you're like, you're just driving normally. And then out of nowhere, someone freaking makes a U-turn in front of you. But I didn't know airbag smoke, right? Like when you crash or whatever, your airbag deflates. So literally... Literally, when I crashed, I literally sat there for a moment. And I was like, is my car on fire? But it was just the airbag, y'all. No need to worry. Like, it was just the airbag. No explosion, no nothing at all. And then, um, I got out of my car and I looked at my car and I was like, like, my jaw was on the freaking floor. And I started crying because I was like, I, like, the impact didn't feel as bad as it looked, but it looked really bad. <laughs> like, honestly, I feel bad for the guy, too, because I ruined the back of his car. But he ruined the front of my car, so... Like, people look at your face before your back, so... Technically, I had it worse. But, um, yeah, like, after that, my car still turned on. Literally, the middle of my car was, like, pushed in, like, if I was trying to stop a train or something like and yeah it still turned on it was still drivable but obviously the damage was damaged and yeah that's why i haven't made a video honestly because i've been stressed about a car because i've been driving my sister's car lately shout out to her for letting me use it but it's been a month now like do you understand literally moments after my accident i was already stressed out because i was like like how am i gonna get to work you know but good thing it was like a long weekend because like i said it was december 22nd so it was that friday literally right before christmas so we had like that little extra day on monday so i wasn't really tripping you know until i went back to work and not gonna lie like the first time I got back in the car to start driving, I felt so nervous. Like, I literally felt like I was just driving and someone was going to come out of nowhere. Like, that's how I still feel today still. But, you know, I've gotten better because I have to drive every day. So, I had to get back out there. Luckily, nothing too bad happened to me or, like, nobody else was hurt. The guy was fine. Like, I was only injured because that airbag blew up in my hand. And it was just like swollen and purple. My ring finger and my pinky finger. And yeah, they were like purple for a couple of days. 
and I was scared at first because my hand was white like it was like white grayish like it just looked like wow well, literally had just been in a car accident so yeah that explains why I was like pale <laughs> but I've never been that pale in my life that I'm grateful for my family and my sister for letting me borrow her car throughout this month and yeah that was my story I was wanting to make this video for a while but I was just so stressed out because it uh, everything was taking a long time like the insurance was taking a long time to reach out to me like I got an attorney but like it's kind of weird with them because they don't really reach out unless you call them you know like you kind of have to call them out like help me like I need your help I need your help and actually you know, if you're under 25 and you want to rent a car, it's like a $700 fee. Like, yeah, I know I just got in a car accident and I'm liable, but it wasn't even my fault. <laughs> but, um, yes, yeah, so if you guys drive a car or anything, wear your seatbelt. Because you literally don't know when someone is literally going to do anything in front of you. Like, at every moment, someone is not paying attention or, like, anything like that. And it can end bad. Or even worse, you know. But um, thankfully, I feel better now. And my hand isn't purple anymore. But yeah, I'll just update you guys. Hopefully, I can get my car soon. So you guys can see how I'm going to sessify it. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye!